What's up everybody and welcome back to the Everton career mode and it's been a quite a long time since I uploaded the video on this channel so which I can only apologize for. I've just been really busy with getting that advent calendar sorted and I mean my other channel is my main channel so it is my main, I mean it's called my main channel for a reason um, and I had to take priority I guess for a little bit just to start getting ahead and make sure I could get the advent calendar out for you guys for Christmas and making sure that they're not going to be delayed and they're not going to be late and we're ahead and gives people enough time to edit them. All that jazz, you guys know what the deal is. So we have to unfortunately put this channel on the back burner for a second while we started to do all that stuff and just make sure everything's okay. Like I said, it's the main channel. It is the focus. If one of them's got to take a bit of a hit, it is going to be this one, unfortunately. But we are back. We are ready to play some Champions League football with Everton, which is going to be absolutely sick. And I want to win the Champions League this season. I'm going to be honest with you because today... It's actually due to come out tomorrow. It's currently the third. It's due to come out on the fourth, but they've soft launched next gen FIFA. So I've got the actual PS5 version of FIFA now with the better graphics and the force feedback in the controller and the haptics and all that stuff. The thing with it though is only the online stuff ports over really. The Volta and Ultimate Team, everything else, I mean, Pro Clubs is online. I don't think that ports over. Pro Clubs, career mode, online seasons actually doesn't as well. Doesn't go onto the new game. It's like, a, it's a new game. It's a completely separate game. Like everyone keeps saying, when's the update? It's not an update. It's a brand new, entirely separate game for PS5. You just get it for free. So the only thing that ports over is Ultimate Team and Volta. So unfortunately, career mode saves don't work or don't carry over to the next game, to the new game. So we need to finish this career mode off so we can start one on PS5 and get all the cool new celebrations and all the mad extra animations and all stuff like that. Because that'll look very, very cool when we go on to win the Champions League with Trammy or something like that in a few seasons. And you can see them like proper celebrating in the 90th minute goals and stuff. That's going to be sick. So we need to get cracking. We weren't on great form, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure we're like ninth in the league or something like that and i am very very worried about this game against celtic hammers isn't fully fit which is worrying hakimi is still not a right back the moral morale moral the, the moral of the story is have good morale the morale is still a little bit low it's not it's not footy managers i can't like take the boys paintballing or something like that to cheer them up unfortunately so we're just gonna we're just gonna have to see what happens our isn't playing actually we should probably put our back in for Ducore for the champions league we should probably put him in for Hammers, actually, because Hammers is tired. Let's put Awa back in, and let's just jump into our fate. Do we play it? I'm, I kind of want to play the whole thing, because I'm worried. But in the interest of getting this career mode to the Champions League final as quickly as possible, and getting into a PS5 next-gen version of career mode, I think I'm going to interactive sim it. But I do want to win, so I will be very quickly jumping in if this starts to go. Pete Tong. Come on, the boys. Go on, boys. There we go. Calvert-Lewin, first goal in the Champions League after eight minutes. That's what you love to see as an Everton fan. Roll on that next season, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> That's good, though. That's a good start. Well played, boys. Half time then. 1-0 up. Doing all right. Doing all right. My worry is that they're going to... Celtic are going to score in, like, the 85th minute. And then... I haven't got enough time to jump in and rescue the win. That will be my, my main worry. I am going to get hammers on as well. Because Awar doesn't... Kunda's rating isn't playing great. And Hammers has got enough fitness to play the rest of the game once the ball's gone out of play. So he'll be coming on in like the 60th minute. There we go. Hammers on. Go on, Dom. Come on. 2-0. Oh, we're smashing it. We're absolutely smashing it. Even Ducore scoring. There we go. Everton's first Champions League game is a 3-0 win away from home. Well played, boys. That was quality. So after an absolute dominating win in the Champions League... We were only playing Celtic, but still, we didn't, like we struggled against Burnley in the Prem, one all, lost to Newcastle. So we sh they're games that we should be winning. They are games we should be winning. We are ninth in the table, which is not great. But I think I'm going to stick with the tactic of Quick Simon. My only thing is, do I bring Hammers back in? I'm going to quick some Come on, Evan. Please win. Please win. Please win. Please. Okay, there we go. 2 0. Very nice. Very nice. Duke Corey's playing sick, isn't he? I rate it. He's playing very, very good. Theo Walcott is wondering if he's got a chance of being involved in our next game. Honestly, Theo, I'm going to be honest, mate. I forgot that you played for us. <laughs> if I'm being absolutely honest. However, I've got the team set up wrong, haven't I? My reserve one is it's called reserves and it's the actual full strength squad. Joe, you know what? Yes, you can, Theo. You're going to be involved, mate, because we are playing Fleetwood in the cup. So we're going to rock with this team. The reserves, essentially, even though it's the default team because the reserves on is the full strength team because I got them mixed up, but it's fine. Iwobi, 
The Boy Melida, Trukweze, Gomez, Davies, Shabaman, Godfrey, Mina, Aguilar. I think Shabaman's actually in both teams, isn't he? Do we have a different centre mid we can play instead? Not really, is the problem. I'm going to go with mental. I'm going to play Davies, CDM, Awobi centre mid, and Walcott right wing. Uh, left wing, sorry. They still should be able to win. Let's rest Shabaman. However, I am a little bit scared. And I'm going to do this sim, just to make sure. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. What is going we've had, We've had chances. We've had chances. I mean, it's hard to show the highlights because it is just dots running around on the screen. We've just missed some sitters, basically. So I'm going to let the lads carry on. I'm going to let the lads carry on. Maybe I was right to be a little bit worried because this is a super weakened team, but we still should be able to beat Fleetwood. Come on, boys. 81st. Oh, we still have not Okay, okay, okay. We're going to have to take matters into our own hands. They keep missing sitters. We just keep missing sitters. It's the 82nd minute now. And it's 0-0 against Fleetwood in the Carabao Cup. Go on, Awobi. He's absolutely knackered. Can he finish? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is the part where we concede in it in the 92nd minute. And I say, don't worry, we're going to focus on the Champions League. Okay, good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, never mind. Carabao Cup success is not going to be a thing again this year. Absolutely livid at the reserves for that. The sitters that were missed. Alex Awobi, hang your head in shame, mate. Hey, boss, I know people have been talking about the position you're playing me in. I'm ready to do whatever's necessary. Apparently, kicking the ball in the goal doesn't fall into that, though, does it, Alex, mate? Yeah, you definitely can do better, because that was horrendous, mate. Seems to mistakes what cost us. Keep working hard, Theo. You're never playing again, mate. Back to the proper team. With no hammers still for Wolves. 3-0. Hammers comes on. Hammers scores. you love to see it. Hakimi is worried he's going to be on the bench. Of course you won't be on the bench, mate. Next up. We probably should have rested some players, actually. Oh, the, the, yeah, they're all fine. They're all fine. They're all fine. Okay, I was going to say we probably should have rested some players in that game against Wolves. But they seem to have recovered absolutely fine for the midweek game. Goodison Park against Borussia Dortmund. Come on, the boys. Dortmund have made some serious changes to their lineup here. Mertens. Adrissa Garner Gay. 1 0 down to Everton. Ducore again. What a boy. Kim Pembe. And is that. Jo Surely that's a Joel Matip. Surely not. 1 0 to the boys in blue at Goodison, though. Half time then. Half time at Goodison. 27% possession we've had. <laughs> but we're winning 1 0. And that's all that matters. Big save, big save, right. Let's get Hammers on. I'm gonna put, do you know what? I'm gonna put Chuck Wesley on as well. I'm gonna put Chuck Wesley on. Give him a run out in the Champions League. Enjoy it, mate. Oh, it's heart in mouth every time the Dortmund dots get near my goal. He hasn't got out yet to get the subs on. This is stress. Are they even gonna get a run out? Okay. 1 0 at home against Dortmund with no interference from myself. Come on, you blues. Slowly climbing up the table then. Hakimi impresses again, so he's, he's pulling it back. He's pulling it back. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. Good, great performance, Hakimi, mate. Well done. Well done. Right, so we should be top of our group in the Champions League. Things you love to see. Okay, we just need to sort it out in the Prem. we got Leicester next. With his good performances, Hakimi is only 16 weeks away from becoming a right wing back, which is very nice, and he'll be much more suited to the position. Love it. Okay. West Ham. Oh, sorry, Leicester, and then West Ham, and then we've got Ajax in the Champions League as well. One all, all right, one all against Godfrey scored. Nice, okay. Oh, no, I played the wrong team. Did I play the wrong team? Yes, I did. Played the wrong team, played the wrong team. Oh, Andy. Oh, God. I need to fix that. We played the reserves against Leicester in the league. Wait, have we been doing that every time? Is that why we've been losing? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me that. No, okay, that's the first time we've done it by accident. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andy, you silly sausage, right? We've got an international break apparently now, which is why there's a big gap in the calendar. And the next game at home is against West Ham. So fingers crossed nobody gets injured on international duty. That would be very frustrating. So let's make sure we play the proper squad. There we go. Oh, we drew two all this time. Oh, for Christ's sake, boys. Come on. The league is not going to plan this season, but we are focused on the Champions League. We've already won the Prem. We are focused on the, cha the Champions League. Top of the group. And playing second, actually, as well. So we've got a chance to really, really go ahead. If we can get three wins out of three, we'll be on nine. And the closest anyone can be is four. If Dortmund get a win against Celtic, which they should do. 
Here we go then, to go miles clear at the top of the group, away to Ajax, the Johan Cruyff Arena. Can the boys in blue go over there and get a massive win? Go on! Adama Traore with the finish in the 21st minute. The boys in yellow, not the boys in blue today. We're wearing our away kit, apparently. But either way, we're 1-0 up. Not a bad first half. Not getting quite as dominated with possession as we did against Dortmund. Still only one shot between us, which is kind of mad. But it went in, and we're 1-0 up. So that's all that matters. And Richie is doing... Oh, how's he missed? Oh, he saved it, apparently. Richie's doing bits down that left wing. There he goes again. Oh, he's nearly scored again. Do you know what? I kind of want to get involved. I'm going to bring on Hammers. And I want to actually play some Champions League football for Everton. Let's get in. Let's get in. Come on. Hakimi's finally got it and we go on a break. Look at Adama. Look at Adama. Please be on side. He is. Go on, Adama. Hammers is square. Surely that's a goal. Oh, no, no. Actually, it wasn't Hammers. It was Calvin Lewin. And oh, no, no. Actually got a hand to it. But it doesn't matter. It's too close and too powerful. And it's 2 0 in the Champions League to Everton. Top of the group, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0. 3 0. Oh, we're absolutely battering Ajax on the counter attack. 3 0 in the Champions League away from home for Everton. Dortmund lost to Celtic. So we are five points clear at the top of the table. Smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. When's the next Champions League game? Ooh, okay. It's not. It's a no. It's not too long away, actually. If we beat Ajax at home, I think we're guaranteed to top the table. Okay. Do you know what? I'm just going to sim straight there. I'm just going to sim straight there. We're going to keep the Champions League drama. Beat Spurs 2-0. Beat West Brom 3-2. Uh, it's Champions League day again. Or Champions League night. At home to Ajax to maintain our grip on the top of the table. Hammers wants to play. Do you know what, Hammers? You can play, mate. Why not? Ducore has not has been playing good. Hammers is never fully fit as he went. Neither is our. Okay, so that's fine. So we'll bring him on. Calvert Lewin's an 87, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. What a man. Pickford's 86. Hakimi's 85. Dinier's up to 86. Awar's up to 85. The boys down here aren't doing too great. Poor Aguilar has been absolutely left out in the cold. So is Tom Davies. But the lads that are playing are growing like crazy. Ajax again, this time at home. Let's have a repeat of the first game, please, team. Go on, Richarlison, cutting in from the right wing. Smashing it far post. 1-0. We're just too good. We're just too good in the Champions League. Honestly, Richarlison's unreal. Richarlison's... I can even just tell from the dots. He's so good. 2-0 at half-time. A goal for the two star boys up front apiece. The other one created by Richarlison as well. He's playing so good. But we've got a 2-0 win. That is beautiful. All right. I want to see this. What? Okay, so Dortmund won this time against Celtic. So that'll put them on four points, but it'll put me on 12. So we're eight points clear with two games to go. Yeah, so we've won the group. So we can play the kids and the reserves and whatnot in the remaining games in the Champions League, which is actually kind of mental. So against Celtic and Dortmund. So I'm going to jump straight ahead. We're going to go past the Arsenal game and the Stoke game and go straight to... Celtic at home. 4 1 win against Arsenal. Okay. Things you'll love to see. And a 4 0 in against Stoke. We are picking up some form. And we've got at home against Celtic. And we're going to play some of the reserves. Calvert Lewin is one of the top scorers in the Champions League. And I would quite like to win the Golden Boots. That would be pretty cool. So, what we're going to do, we're going to run the reserves lineup. But I'm going to put some of the main players in as well. So, we do still want to win. But my leader can go in. I'm going to play. Awa, because he didn't play in the last one. So we'll put Davies at CDM. And then Awa can go in because he missed the game for Hammers to play. Keane. Keane never really gets to play, does he? Which is kind of sad. Do I play? I might play Alan, you know. I think I'm going to play Alan instead of Tom Davies. And then we'll put Richie on the bench. Just in case. Just for emergencies. Go on, Dom. He just can't stop scoring. He just can't stop scoring. We're absolutely smashing it. And he's got... Oh, he's done it again. He's done it again. He's done it. There's a Calvary and Hatcher coming. I can feel it, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy first half. Dom with a 10 out of 10 performance. Unbelievable. This Champions League malarkey is easy. There we go. 2-0. Two, Two goals from Dom. Managerial masterstroke to play in with the reserves and get us the win. 
Not that it particularly mattered, to be honest with you. Windal is fuming that he's not playing. You've literally just played in the Champions League, mate. He isn't open to renewing his contract and he submitted a transfer request. I feel like he's kind of just made that up himself. Like, I don't remember ever needing to talk about his contract. I don't even remember him saying he needs more games. He just said both of them things at the same time. I guess it's because I simmed so far ahead, wasn't it? I've skipped it. I suppose that is the risk of me going to the calendar and jumping from that Ajax game three weeks ahead to get to the Celtic one. That's fair enough, I guess. We've got so many league games there. I need to make sure we're on the proper team sheet before we quick sim so we play the actual proper team, which we are. And we're going to jump to the final group game. Yes, and we'll round off this video with the final Champions League match. So 3-0 against Derby. Drew with Liverpool, I'll take it. And then Watford, nice 3-0 win. Okay, the final game in the groups for the Champions League. We have comfortably won the group. It's not even close. We could stop Dortmund <laughs> and help Ajax qualify if we beat Dortmund. This is a big game for Dortmund, whereas we don't really care. What team do we play? I think we should go for this one again, you know. Play the reserves against Dortmund. Sorry, Ajax. But Windar's crying. Oh, it's not started well. Erling Haaland is bagged on in the 14th minute. Okay, okay. To be expected. All right, half time. We're not getting dominated in terms of possession as much as we were last time we played them, but we are 1-0 down, which is frustrating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring on... I do kind of want to win the game. I'm going to bring on Richarlison, and I'm going to jump in and finish off this video by playing our final group game of the Champions League in our lovely green kit, actually. I do like this kit. So Richie's on. Let's see whether we can go 100% record in the groups. Give myself a bit of a task. Go on, Richie. There we go. There we go. Hit him with the pigeon. Awful marking from Dortmund, that actually. No, 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 no. Oh my God, what a save, Olsen. Keeping that undefeated record in the Champions League. Oh, no, 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 Haaland. No, not the record. The 93rd minute. Are you kidding me? I don't know why I'm that bothered. It would have been cool, though. It would have been cool. We definitely had chances to score as well. Ajax did win. Poor Ajax didn't go through because of us in the 93rd minute. Wow, that is drama. That is drama. Oh, my God. I got. Let's have a look. Champions League. Group C. Oh, wait. Hang on. No, 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 no. They wouldn't have gone through any because it'd been a draw. We needed to win. We needed to win for them to go through. That's my bad. So, they w Dortmund were through anyway. That's crazy, though. That is crazy. Top of the group by absolutely miles. Things you love to see. Well, that is where we're going to leave this episode. We're going to leave that as the Champions League group stage for what this video was about. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I said, it's been a while since we had the Cremo video, so apologies for that. I've been focusing on the advent calendar for my main channel with Scobble the Shuram. But I'll try and get some more content for you guys out on this channel. Now we've sort of got into the swing of things and got some of the advent calendar videos banked. We should have a bit more time for filming other vids, so... Gonna leave this one here. Let me know any other stuff you'd like to see down in the comment section. We'll probably start a career mode on the PS5 version of the game as well. Once we've hopefully won the Champions League on this one. But yeah, for now, we're gonna leave you there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys soon for another video.